The timekeeping is also an incredibly important skill that's required for monitoring things like seasonal change, annual change, as well as ceremonial times for Indigenous people. Um, and it largely comes in the form of not only reading the country, but also reading what's happening in the sky. So an example of this comes from the Yoraldi people um, of South Australia, and they would keep track of the time of day, basically using the sun as a watch. So they split the, the sun's path up into seven chunks. So they had before sunrise, then there was sunrise, then they had after sunrise, middle of the day, afternoon, sunset, and night. And that was how they broke the sky up to keep track of the time and what was happening throughout the day. So material items and things like rock art were also really useful in measuring time across multiple time scales. So rock art, for example, this is something that has been found all over Australia and it's something that's really highly regarded uh, by Indigenous communities. Rock art is a way for people to connect uh, to the dreaming. It's a way to connect to the history of uh, you know, your people and your country. It's also a way to connect to your ancestors. And so it's something that is really, really important for a lot of communities. It's also really useful for storing really useful and practical information, such as timekeeping. Now, the Waterman peoples of Northern Territory, who we've spoken about quite a lot now, they use rock art uh, featuring these concentric circles. Uh, as, a, as a way to measure time and to measure seasons. So essentially what they will do is for each season that they experience on their country, that reflects uh, a, f a circle further uh, away from the, the center circle. And so again, they're able to use this motif of the sun uh, in order to measure time, but on a, a much larger scale. Yeah, so another great example of this that we're already familiar with from this course um, comes from our country, the Gamilaroi peoples, and the, the story of Gawarge, the celestial emu. Um, uh, and this actually shows us what's happening with the Dinawan, the emu at various times of the year, their breeding cycles and what they're doing on country, but also other important indicators around food and water and stuff that the Gamilaroi people needed for their lives. And there's also ceremonial aspects that are tied to this constellation as well. So many important aspects all across our culture and our, and our way of living that are embedded within this story. And so as we can see from all of this, through tracking the sky and through the movements of the stars and, and the celestial bodies, that Indigenous peoples have a very unique and um, multiple different ways in which to know what is happening and how to navigate across this country.